My next guest this morning, she is a retired flight attendant who's actually focusing full time on her writing right now. This woman is hilarious. She is the author of several books. She's also a columnist for The Reporter. Now, her most recent book is entitled Only in the Keys. That is the perfect title because if you live down here in the Keys, that is a saying you hear so often. Jana, thank you so much for being here with me today. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, it's a pleasure. I enjoy your writing, Jana. As I mentioned, I think you are just hilarious. So you made a good career move by focusing full time on your writing. Yeah, I was I was a flight attendant before, and um, I I think all that I did in the plane was crack jokes and try to make people feel more comfortable. And yeah, so I was finally done with that, and it was time to move on. But I had been writing in between, mm -hmm. and so I decided to do it full time. So thanks for saying that. That's nice. Now, Jana, you had the typical story about moving down here. You you left where you were before, uh -huh. and you kind of just wanted to to start new here. Right. I I followed a man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we got married, and I came down here, and that fizzled out real quick. And then I met my um, my my husband now, who's been with me for 22 years, and so um, and and it's been fun. And we just ended up staying here. We both love it, and um, you know, we we travel a lot still because he's a pilot, so we still get to travel and get off the rock, as they say. But you know, there's nothing that beats the keys. Absolutely, and you write about it. Jana, as I mentioned, one of your books that was just recently released is entitled Only in the Keys. So obviously, right. Jana, you saw that there were things that was happening down, that were happening down here that you could only find in the Keys. Right, the, I mean, everybody that lives here, we all know it's it's only in the Keys. That's that's what my title of my article has been from day one. Um, and and it's just fun, fun, silly stories about what you see every day, the silly mail mailboxes or, um, you know, just uh, restaurants. You, you can't go to a restaurant and have a romantic dinner. You're gonna be seeing your whole, you know, it turns out to be a party, which is mm -hmm. what the Keys are all about and stuff. But yeah, it's just it's its own lifestyle. Even the dogs are different down here. <laughs> I mean, it's just a fun place to write about right. and to live, obviously. Well, so. I, I've looked over some of your your titles, Jana, and one that drew my attention was how to how to fight with your spouse in the keys. Tell yeah. me about that. You can't. <laughs> you have to have a bulletproof house so that nobody can see you or hear you. <laughs> I mean, even in the neighborhood. It's a small town. Um, I keep looking out there because my husband drove me down and it was all we could do not to fight in the car. <laughs> so, it's a two hour drive from Key Largo. But uh, yeah, it's, you just, you know, everything has its own little quirks down here. It's a small town and mm -hmm. it's just, you know, full of love and people, People are all here supporting each other, but yeah, you, you can't, or even your kids. Like for a long time, we all carpool, and so we have um, DVD players in our cars, and you know, I was playing stupid, stupid shows, and I started realizing that people could see that I was playing the stupid, so now I'm gonna put in educational shows, and my daughter's <laughs> like, what? And I go, well, because other people can see, we all know each other, <laughs> you know, or my girlfriend. I have the, the school mascot, the little sticker that you put on your cars and mm -hmm. she hates that because she's like, now everybody knows that you're, you know, that you're all from that school so you can't even like make a wrong turn because people know the, the stupid school person. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's just, you have to be very careful, but it's just fun. So Now, is yeah. it hard for you to come up with a new column idea each week? Um, and that's a good, that's a good question. You know, I've been doing it since 2008, so you, you would think so, but I mean, there's always something. I was just thinking for this interview that I need to put foot makeup on because I got a whole bunch of fire ant bites, and so <laughs> it's like my feet are all scarred up. <laughs> and thankfully, you can keep it high. But uh, yeah, I mean, fire ant bites. How many other places have fire ant bites? And people around the Keys know that your mm -hmm. feet just get these major scars. So that could be my future article. Yeah. Um, anything, you know, anything from a flat tire to the bugs. I wrote. Um, I can't remember the shades of gray and the keys or something. It was it's in my book, and um, it's it's about a mosquito basically and how he's searching out this beautiful girl. But it, throughout the whole story, you think it's just a guy checking out this girl in a restaurant, but it's a mosquito because the mosquitoes are such a huge part of our life down here. And Absolutely. trying to make a you know a funny story out of it, mm -hmm. but there's there's always something down here. Now, Jana, only in the keys is your most recent release, but you've also released a children's book as well, yeah, and you thanks. have a, th a third book coming up. Thanks for yeah remembering that. That's nice. I, mean, I did. I, I published. I self-published a ch 
children's book, and that was my first one that I was just trying to see how the biz goes <clears throat> before I retired. And it was, it's called um, The Puppy Tooth Fairy, and it's one of the first, there's a couple different stories in it that I'm still trying to get out, uh, but this one's called The Clumsy Canine, and it's available on Amazon.com, so it's really cute. It's, it's for anybody that has a puppy or a brand new, you know, first last tooth, or even a few last teeth, it's good for people to be able to read to their kids at night. And, it's just a fun one. My daughter gave me that idea because our puppy lost his to her tooth when she was a little baby puppy. Mm -hmm. And my daughter's like, so now what happens to them? Do they have a tooth fairy? And I said, <laughs> you know, you're right. They do. <laughs> so, they should have one <laughs> right? if they don't, so, right? <laughs> so we, uh, we wrote the story. She helped me a lot, actually. So okay. it's a good one. All right, Jana, was that a little difficult for you to write the children's book when you're used to writing the columns and that's more adult humor? That's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. Um, I love I love both. Um, I've even written TV scripts. And I've won awards for that. Um, so I, I tend to just write. I think it's my therapy. I, I did a conference that's called Writing Through our therapy through the keyboard and so it just whenever I'm upset with my husband <laughs> or anything I can do my therapeutic writing and it gets out so but the the adult books I have the third book that I finished and that we're trying to get published it's called allergies over the Atlantic and it's a, a combination of my life here in the Keys and my flight attendant you know life and so I combined them between the diving as a scuba diver and as a flight attendant and again humor and it's just it's a great story and so I can I can easily switch I'm pretty good at switching at least mm -hmm. I think so mm -hmm. and the columns are just fun thank God for um, Dave my my editor over at the reporter he's he's been really patient mm -hmm. with me and but they're fun they keep me going and yeah so I'm pretty good at switching I think I hope so you they're are <laughs> and, and your articles are all so interesting so Thanks. you always come up with something good and, and I look forward to seeing you know Thanks. what else is next from you do you have anything in the works right now Right, we have we go skiing a lot too, and so um, we have uh, my whole family still in Colorado. So we have a book that I started. It's called Mountains of Dough, and it's about um, you know the bears up there and the, the life trying to ski down. I have to have a shot of liquor to get down the hill. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, you know I try to do that. I have um, more of the children's books, a series of that. The second series in Allergies Over the Atlantic is called Bunions into Boston. And so that one's kind of about halfway through. So I'm I'm busy writing, and, mm -hmm. but it's 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 hard because we like to play down here. Yeah, so. Right. So you have to find the balance. You've got to <laughs> yeah. stay disciplined. And now, Jana, before we go this morning, do you think you made the right career move by leaving the flight attendant business behind and doing the writing? You know, I loved being a flight attendant. Um, yeah, my husband's over there going, <laughs> I didn't like to work, but I like the paycheck. <laughs> no, I like to be in a flight attendant. It gave me an amazing opportunity in this world um, to see the world. And fortunately, I'm still able to continue my traveling. So I, I don't feel like I've really lost anything other than a, a decent paycheck. So um, now the writing, hopefully, yeah, I love it. It's a therapy. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably be nicer to be around. <laughs> so. well, one, well, you're great to be around right now. <laughs> Thank, you. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Of me. course, thank this you for having me. This is my little book, you're yes. the sweetie, for letting me come on and promote oh, this. Thank you, I can't wait to yeah, read it. Yeah, I want you to enjoy <laughs> it, and you can get it at um, the Randy's gift store or the Hooked on Books. Okay. And we're trying to get it throughout more of the local stores because it's a great book to put on your coffee table or you know, absolutely. Rated, you know, in the bathroom. I'll be laughing wherever. all day. <laughs> I hope so, really. And thank you for your patience. Of course. But. And you can check out more of Jana's information on the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. You can also check out her column each week in The Reporter. Jana, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, sweetie. I look forward to your return in the future. Oh, I hope <laughs> so, really. Again, nice to meet you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.